Hello and welcome to the first 2018 World Cup match preview brought to you in the style of Blackburn Rovers Seas. That's right, I'm going to be previewing and reviewing each one of the World Cup games starting right here, right now, with the opening match between the hosts, Russia and Saudi Arabia. That's right, folks, back once again with another match review, but we're not looking at Blackburn Rovers whatsoever. We're looking at the teams that have headed out to Russia. I'm going to start right here, right now, with the opening match, which is Russia up against Saudi Arabia. We'll talk more about that in just one second. But if you are new to the channel, whether you are a Rovers fan or a World Cup or international football fan, you might as well hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things uh, World Cup related. And just want to make, make sure that you are aware about this show, because it's not just my opinion. It's not just about the cat's opinion. I'm actually bringing in international fans live uh, via Skype or Facebook Messenger, all that kind of good stuff, and get to hear their opinions. So this is not just a one-man band, baby. We're bringing in faces, voices from around the world. I'm going to start right here with the Russia game. But we'll talk more about those guys in just a second. But right now, let's take a little bit of a background look at the match. Uh, so the match will take place on the 14th of June in the Lushnishki Stadium in Moscow. Now again, uh, my pronunciation of such of uh, these names is going to be pretty brutal, so I do apologise. Anyway, let's take a look at the hosts, Russia. They are managed by Stanislav Cheshishov. Uh, how did they get there? Well, they actually, um, I don't know if they uh, they got it legally, but they're hosts. They are hosts, and um, it, uh, they, they secured their position as hosts way back on the 2nd of December 2010. This will be the 11th tournament for Russia as a whole, because obviously they've appeared as a USSR. They've also appeared as the CIS. Uh, but right here, today, they're coming in as Russia. Their last tournament was back in Brazil 2014, and their best place finish was fourth all the way back in 1966. Now, you can get odds on Russia winning the World Cup at 40 to 1. Uh, would I recommend that? Probably not. Anyway, let's take a look at their oppositions today, and they are taking on Saudi Arabia, and they are currently managed by Juan Antonio Pizzi. Uh, how did uh, Saudi Arabia get themselves to Russia? Well, they uh, finished as runners-up of the AFC Third round, Group B. That's right. And they secured their qualification back in the 5th of September 2017. This will be their fifth tournament. Their last being 2006, which is that? What was that? Was that Germany? I think that was Germany. Anyway, their best place for finish was a last 16 berth uh, during one of their previous tournaments. And they can get odds on Saudi Arabia winning the World Cup at 1,000 to 1. Now, have these two sides met in previous international football? Yes, they did. Way back on the 6th of October 1993, Saudi Arabia versus Russia. And Saudi Arabia won 4-2, and it was a friendly. So let's take a look at Russia's schedule for the tournament. Obviously, they start with the opening match of the tournament as a whole up against Saudi Arabia, and that is on the 14th of June. Then they will take on Egypt at 19th of June, and that's at the Kraskovsky Stadium in St. Petersburg. And they'll wrap it up on the 25th of June uh, in the Cosmos Arena when they take on Uruguay. After that, they'll have to wait and see to see if they qualify for the second round. So let's take a look at Saudi Arabia's uh, schedule for the tournament. Obviously, we mentioned it earlier. It's the opening game, 14th of June, up against Russia. Then they take on Uruguay on the 20th of June, uh, and that's at the Rostov Arena in Rostov on Don, and they'll wrap it up with a match against Egypt on the 25th of June, and that's in the Volongrad Arena out in Volongrad. So that's just a bit of a general background of this match, and uh, one of my initial thoughts on this, well... It's a big one. It's a big one for Russia and it's a big one for the tournament. Obviously, the hosts like to get themselves off to a good, uh, a good uh, start and they've got themselves a good group. I don't, I don't see any real runaway leaders in this group, so it's, it's doable for them and it's a doable uh, position for Russia to actually go out and win this group and give themselves a good chance in the, uh, in the knockout phases. But first and foremost, they've got to beat Saudi Arabia and they ain't no pushovers. So it's going to be a tough one, but you'll hear more about my prediction and verdicts after we've heard from our special guests. So the opening game of the uh, World Cup is just around the corner and it's the hosts up against Saudi Arabia. I'm joined live uh, via Skype with a couple of uh, Russians who are obviously out in Russia. Here they are. If you'd like to say hello to the world, maybe introduce yourself. Hello to the world. Hello. What are we going to say? <laughs> so uh, first of all, uh, let us tell what we feel as supporters of our team, okay? Because sure, we are... For here for our nation, sure we are really proud that this world champion championship are uh, coming to us. I think it's first time good with us. Yes. Yeah, it's the first time, so it's such a great uh, 
things and everybody expecting, exciting, and we are really, really waiting and everywhere. Are you there? I'm there, I'm there. You're doing good, doing good. So you see even female and male and everybody, and even the child and the dog and the cat, everybody, <laughs> I think. But seriously, we are all expecting you. We can't wait to look at the our watches and we are waiting waiting because it's about to start and uh, what are we gonna say sure we want to become a winner but don't we, we all, are don't we all we all want to we all want to win yeah yeah <laughs> <Every country. laughs> yeah can't dream about it <laughs> of course of course we are, we are realistic people yeah and we hoping to go as far as we can at least at the second tour <laughs> at least Semi-final, probably. Ooh, ooh, maybe, maybe God hear our <laughs> prayers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so the, your your group, you do have. It is quite an open group. I think everyone has a chance to qualify from your group. It's still is so close. Um, yeah. If you could, if like, if you look at the other teams, uh, if you could take one player from one of the other teams, who would you take? Who would you give a Russian passport? Say. Say maybe from Uruguay, take uh, uh, what's his name, the striker. I don't know, but if you could give one player a passport for Russia and say you're now playing for Russia, who would it be? Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's a, it's a yeah. difficult question. <laughs> it's, a difficult. it's so difficult. We will change uh, almost all of our players to others, but okay. <laughs> we will choose just one. Kavo. Is it Rubai, for example? Kavo, for example. Or is it Egypt? What is it, Mohamed? Salah and Suarez. Suarez, good one. Yeah, no, that's a good pick. Good pick. Um, I couldn't think of him, but you you brought him in. Okay, so um, Russia has a uh, a a good history of football. They've been a real big powerhouse in the past. Now, if you could go back in time and take yeah. a, a Russian player from the past and bring yeah. him into the current day, who would you pick? We will choose. We already prepared some things. That's, that's so fine. That's choose, good. Uh, maybe you heard about them. We're not sure. Paulus. Okay. Paulus. Okay. And Denisov, Denisov. Uh, there are two uh, players which are quite really strong, and I think we will be more successful if we might have them now, and we will be more powerful and stronger because they're really good players, and we don't really know. We feel pity that we cannot choose them now, and we cannot see them now. But oh, we'll see. Maybe yeah. Well, some, yeah. well. Besides those, you do have 23 players that have been picked for Russia. Now, the, the, we're getting closer now, but if you could choose, or, or your, your starting 11, who's going to be in goal? Who's going to be uh, the rest of the team? Your 11 players to start the first match. Uh, for the first match? For the first match. For our players. For your players, right now. Coach. <laughs> 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 We think that our coach is quite a professional person and he will choose better than we are. So I guess he will choose the best place for the first match against uh, Saudi Arabia. And I think we will see quite a good game, at least at the first match. And uh, tell you honestly, we think uh, that we are much better than Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and probably with Uruguay we will play even, probably. But we're hoping that it's not really, you know, it's not really strong uh, teams we play against. So we'll see. Uh, we, uh, we cannot tell you the names. No, we no, that's see. fine. It's fine. Okay, so as we get closer, uh, let, ha, let me. Ha, how about a quick guess at what the score will be on on Thursday? Well, how many how many goals will Russia score? How many goals will Saudi Arabia score? What will the, what's the score going to be? Uh, for the first match or all together? Just the first one. Just the first one. For the first match, we think uh, we're going to win 2-1. Uh, 2-1. Two, two, one. Okay. Now, Our I'll, prediction. I'll, yeah, it's a good prediction. It's uh, it's not too crazy. It's not too modest. It's it's good. Now, in your group, th there's another game going on. Uruguay against Egypt. They two play. What do you think is going to happen in that game? Uh, we think Uruguay against Egypt is going to 3-1. 3-1 uh, for Uruguay. Forward, uh, Uruguay. Okay. 
Now, now we're getting, uh, you know, the, the, the game is getting closer. Um, if you want to give them a bit of a motivational speech, the Team Russia. Give them yeah, a bit of last sure. minute. <laughs> sure. We will try to do it together, but I'm not sure, actually. You could do it in Russian, if you like. <laughs> Russia, go! Russia, go! We come to win the is your goal. <laughs> perfect, perfect. You, can't, you cannot get better than that. That's a great way to start these videos. Now, I just want to say that I met these two lovely people on uh, Telegram. And uh, if you want to check out their channel on Telegram, I'm going to stick a link in the description below. And then you can catch up with these guys. Uh, and then maybe even become a member and all that kind of stuff. So that, uh, you know, give these guys a... You know, they're, they're there to help. They're there to help in Russia. They'll be able to help you, show you around the place. Um, if you're just stuck, maybe you need directions to something. They're here. Isn't that right? Okay, there we go. Bye-bye. Perfect, nice perfect. You. Thank you. So we've heard the Russians' point of view. Now, what about their uh, first opposition in this tournament, the Saudi Arabians? Well, I've got a special guest joining me right here, right here, right now, on the phone or on Skype. Here he is. Just introduce yourself to the world. Tell them your name and maybe uh, maybe something a little bit quirky or interesting about you. Hi, my name is uh, Osama and I'm a, I'm a man coming freshman at Penn State. Something bizarre about me is that my younger brother is 15 years or younger than me. Okay, let's switch gears now. Let's talk about the World Cups. So obviously, uh, kicking off shortly in Saudi Arabia. You do have the honour to join Russia and kicking off the tournament. Uh, so, in, in the group, Group A, I find it quite a difficult one. To, to determine so um but out of the three nations what which game do you think saudi arabia must win in order to keep their world cup dream alive i think uh russia i think because it's like the first game that we have to win egypt is like a kind of a, either it can either go either way but i think we're gonna, we're definitely going to struggle against pure great but i think russia will have the greatest chance of making the greatest impact on our journey Okay, so yeah, yeah, and it is always good to get off a great start. If you can get a win, then you never know if you can pull out a couple of draws and you might scrape yeah. scrape on through. So, in in the in your opening match, you do take on Russia. So, what what was you what concerns you the most about them? Uh, like, I think they're uh, it's not it's not about them. It's more about us because our team had like multiple coaches in the past six, six months. Like our newest coach has been with us for like two months. So we don't have constant training and management. That's a good point of view. I like, I like the way you flipped that around and, and turned it on yourself. So that's, that's, yeah, it's a good strategy. And uh, so um, in, in Group A, there are obviously some, some key, huge uh, worldwide players. Now, if you could have the special power, like a magic wand, and you could turn them, one of them into a Saudi Arabian player and give them a passport to play for Saudi Arabia, who would you, who would you swipe from one of the opposing uh, nations? Uh, Mo Salah. Mo Salah, even with the dodgy yeah. shoulder. I mean, uh, is he supposed to play? In, uh, do you know if he's supposed to play? or The rumour ha right, has it right now, the Egyptian FA say he's going to make it for the first game. So so I guess it's a good point. Yeah. He is on fire. He might have had a you know bad Euro final, but he's still a phenomenon and he had a great season. So yeah. I, I can see where you're... Why, why you would choose him, but there are some other, oh, still some other gems in there. So uh, if you could go back in time, if you had a uh, sort of time travel device, maybe the TARDIS or uh, the DeLorean, if you could go back in time and take somebody from Saudi Arabia's World Cup past, who would you take and why? Uh, Samuel Jabber. Uh, he's one of our best players in Asia. He's been awarded multiple times, and I think FIFA is supposed to award him the next upcoming ones. So, so uh, how I like obviously my knowledge on Saudi Arabian football is minimal. Uh, so is he? So he's long retired, or how? How long? When was he? When did he play last? I, th I think he retired about a few years ago, and he's and uh, now he's one of the coaches at one of the best teams in Saudi Arabia. Anyway, so obviously the big game opening, opening up the tournament. So, what's your score yeah. predictions for the Saudi Arabia Russia game? I want to say two one to us. It's doable. Anything can happen. Anything can happen in the World Cup. And this is, you know, Russia Russia aren't all that. You know, they're very... I think I just got the world rankings. I think they just... They, got, they are classed as the lowest ranked team in the World Cup right now. So, yeah. They're, they're, yeah. they're there for the taking. Like, considering today's game between Saudi Arabia and Germany. I mean, we still lost 2-1, two, two, but we did way better than I expected. 
I, I I did see that game happening. I saw it was one nil. I didn't actually catch the the result. So that is a surprising result. Two yeah. one. You know, they they could have stuck to six past you. But finally, we're going to wrap it up now. Now, obviously, big game just a couple of days away. Now, give them give them a last bit of uh, last minute promotional or motivational speech to to get them over the line. Just go, go boys, Falcons. Yeah, go Falcons. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Okay. So he's, he's he's optimistic. He's you know he's got the right right frame of mind. Obviously, Saudi Arabia are huge underdogs in the tournament. Um, but uh, yeah, football is a funny old game. Anyway, so hopefully we can catch some reaction from you after the game when Saudi Arabia come home and bring home all three points and really turn this group on its head. Correct. Yeah. That's right. Anyway, so we'll we'll let you go for now. Bye. Now, you've heard what the fans are about to say. What has the cat got to say? Let's take a look at what Cast the Cat thinks will happen between Russia and Saudi Arabia. So Cast the Cat has opted for Russia in this opening match. If you're unfamiliar with Cast the Cat's work, as well head over to my YouTube channel. She's predicted each one of the World Cup games, starting with the opening game, all the way through to the last group game. She'll be doing the uh, knockout phases when they come. And speaking of Cast, she's also got an app out there. I don't want to keep pumping this out, but I'm going to. It's a 100% free app. No ads, no nothing, no in-game payments. It's just to get a fun game. It's actually a predicting I game. I like. So, uh, you know, might as well just check it out. There is a link to that game at the end of this video. And also in the description below. Now I guess you're wondering what's he doing with a massive bear head on his shoulders? Well, I've heard what Team Russia have to say, I've heard what Saudi Arabia have to say, it's now, and I've also seen what the cat has predicted. It's time for my prediction and right now this is who I think is going to win the first match. I've opted for Russia. That's all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things World Cup related. I am also on Twitter and Facebook. Links to those platforms in the description below. I also want to say that I'll be doing an instant match review once this game finishes. Once you hear the final whistle, I'm going to be online within the next, well, within 15 minutes with my initial thoughts on the match. And I'll be doing a detailed review later on in that day with reaction from my buddies that we spoke to earlier. So... Uh, a lot to look forward to and also we we're going to be doing this for each one of the World Cup games obviously uh, you know fingers crossed that I'll be able to pull through and do all these but it's it's a big old task big old order so please come back and check them out so fundamentally I think Russia need to win this game to get this tournament off to a cracking start because I think if they stumble and they lose or, or even a draw and they're going to be having serious questions to see if they can actually stay in this tournament for the long haul because I think a win We'll give them a good boost, good opportunity to get into the second round and actually keep the buzz going in the country. That's a major, major factor in any World Cup is the host trying to stick around for as long as possible. Um, for me, obviously, I did predict Russia will win this one. Um, I think they will. I think they'll get through to the second round. Um, and that's probably where their journey will end. But hey, that's just an ambitious prediction. A lot of football is going to happen between now and then. And you can catch my reaction and thoughts and from fans from around the world. I've done a lot of hard work trying to uh, find these folks. So you can catch them right here at Black and Rover Seas. Anyway, so till next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you are interested in that Cast the Cat app, you want to hit that button right there. It'll send you over to my WordPress site where you can find a downloadable link. Also, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, hit that magical button right there. This is your one-stop shop for the 2018 World Cup. I've also got old previews and reviews that you can check out down there. And also let me hear your thoughts and opinions. Whack them in the comments section below. And I will see you all very, very soon.